Hi, my name is Justin Olivier. I'm the regional product manager for the Ecom line of mobility products from Pepperl and Fuchs. Today, we'll be taking a look at the eSentinel app. eSentinel is designed to help operators to add a basic measure of safety to their daily work. It's an ideal tool for lone workers tasked with higher risk activities. Please note, eSentinel does not replace a certified lone worker protection system. Let's go ahead and open up the app and take a look at the basic operation. Open up the app. You may need to allow the necessary permissions and read the safety acknowledgement the first time you open the app. On the home page of the app, you will see five alarm modes that can be enabled or disabled with a quick tap depending on which functionality you need. Once an alarm is triggered, the app will take action according to how the app has been configured. These actions can include initiating a phone call to emergency response teams, as well as text or email messages that include the operator's GPS location. Red button mode enables the operator to manually initiate an alarm with one touch of the red SOS key. The SOS key is loaded on, on top of the Smart EX-02. This allows the field worker to quickly contact help without the need to unlock the phone when they may be in distress with one quick touch of a button. Once an alarm has been activated, the configured actions will be taken and the phone will play a siren noise and begin to flash the screen and flashlight to alert anyone who may be close by. The operator does have the option to kill the alarm if the administrator has not protected that by password. The timer option requires an operator to reset the timer before the designated time period has elapsed to verify that he is safe. A pre-alarm will sound when the time timer gets close to zero to remind the operator to check in before sending an unnecessary alarm. The no motion alarm uses the device sensors to detect any movement. If no movement is detected after a set period of time, an alarm will be triggered. This can also be configured with a pre-alarm and require that the worker has the device affixed to him using a belt clip or something similar. The man down uses the device sensors to detect if the phone exceeds a certain lane angle in an effort to detect falls. Once again, this option requires that the operator has the device physically on him. The external method provides a way to raise an alarm that is triggered by a third party peripheral device connected to your smart EX-02. Those are the five alarm modes now let's take a look at the menu by touching the menu button in the top left corner. Here you can see that you can import or export a configuration setting to be used on other devices. Look at your alarm history, change the password, check your license for eSentinel, or go into the settings. In the settings, you can configure each of the alarm modes and adjust things like the length of the pre-alarm period, amount of time in which the operator must check in on the timer alarm, lean angle for the man down mode, and more. You can also set up which actions are taken once an alarm is triggered, such as phone call, text messages, or emails, and who each of those actions contacts and their specific behavior such as using the speakerphone for all calls or whether or not to include GPS data with any text or email message. Once the app has been configured, you can save the configuration and export it for use on other devices. That's the basics of how to use the eSentinel app. Although the app can run on most Android devices, it has been specifically designed for use with a smart EXO2. For more information, please contact us 
or see it in the Ecom app library on our website. eSentinel does come with a 30-day trial mode. Thank you for taking the time to learn about eSentinel. Thank you.